Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Top 3. I'm your host, Tony Mue, and you know the deal. Three participants get to showcase three sneakers from their collection. Whether it be hyped and exclusive or something basic with a good story, they decide. There's only one rule to this show, and that is, after a sneaker is shown, the participant must say with that Detroit Urban Survival Training Energy, Talk to the guys. And with that said, let's meet the participants. In one corner, he's a traffic manager for a roadway construction project. Move, trick! Get out the way! Born in Tallahassee, Florida, now representing Austin, Texas. Give it up for Mank. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? Shout out to Soul Savvy. Shout out to all my communities out here. We appreciate y'all. And in the other corner, he's a laid back dude who enjoys weight training, sports, and NFTs. Hailing from a place I've never heard of, Tamaqua, Pennsylvania. Make some noise for Nicholas Kipper or Nipper. Count Copula and it's Nepper, oh, man. Man, Count Copula. Let's go. And rounding out the group. He is a senior IT services director, sick with the kick flips. He's been collecting for 20 years, representing Baltimore, Maryland. Give it up for Carrie Walker, AKA SB Carrie. What's up guys? My bad, Nicholas. I uh, kind of butchered your <laughs> last name there. All right, folks. So we determine the order in which the participants go off camera and the order will go like this. We have Carrie kicking it off, followed by Mank and then Count Copula closing out the round this episode no categories straight sauce all right carrie kick it off for us all right so my first one is going to be the uh eric costin blue box sb um it's uh real special to me uh eric costin huge skateboarder has been around since the 90s he skated for lakai for a long time which is a skater owned brand his move to nike was pretty controversial some people might have said he was a sellout but i give him mad respect you know he made the move he wanted to be at the same company that kobe was at when he moved over to nike he actually changed the dunk the tongue slimming sole slimmer so it's a better skate shoe ultra premium materials for this dunk so yeah that's my number three costin 2010 blue box talk to me nice that, no hold on we don't that was so soft no put some bass in your voice and say it one more time for me please talk to me nice oh okay that's what i like all right man what you got so I'm going to tell a small story. Everybody knows so savvy. Everybody knows it doesn't matter what slack it is, which group it is. We all know we go through release dates. And a big release day for me was the New Balance 574 collaboration with Alpha Industries. So they released the shoe and they released merchandise, a paraphernalia on the side. Drop day comes up. Everybody's ready. Drops. Got all sizes except my size, size 13. But in the meantime, I hooked up another Soul Sad member and caught this, this shoe on their size. Shout out to Just Roll, he's in our group. My boy Roll, in, in exchange, sold me one of the shirts that was a part of the collaboration, which was the paraphernalia. And I was like, man, what am I gonna do with the shirt without the shoes, man? That, this, this is pointless. Later on down the road, New Balance does a drop of these in my size. Quick hop, grabbed them. It was over like a three, four month period, man. It's just. A, a pride and joy with this shoe here. So it's, it's comes completely removable. Who bounce ends that come on the shoe. The shoe I just dropped, that's serious for me. That is just how you talk to me. Nice, boy. A little aggressive there, but that's what we want. All right, Count Copula. <laughs> Live up to the name, my boy. This right here, man, I want to start off basic. The other two, a little more, you know, exclusive. I was looking through the other two that I got, man, and I'm like, I got to throw something in there that I wear, like, constantly, man. I keep going back to this shoe. I got so many sneakers, so much hype stuff. But, man, the threes I always go back to, and this one in particular, I actually got EA from sneakers, which doesn't happen a lot. Jordan's my favorite, man, so talk to me nice, man. Oh, yeah. All right, so let me recap the round. We have Carrie with the Eric Costin Nike SBs, Mank with the New Balance 574 Alpha Industry Collab, and then we have Count Copula closing out the round with the Racer Blue Air Jordan 3s. All right, gentlemen, let's move on to the next round. All right, so everybody this year knows what this shoe is probably. This is the uh, Carpet Company Dunk High SB came out in the winter hype shoe, right? 
Uh, everybody was after this. I got real lucky. The local View Skate Shop held it down. I actually got the uh, special box from View. They were one of two shops in the country. Mm. I think they got the special box. Um, but I picked this because this is Baltimore. This is our first dunk. These guys uh, are not a big company. They have a shop in a part of Baltimore that really needs some love. And I think they really killed it with this dunk. Talk to me nice, fellas. Okay. That's what we were waiting for. Mank, please take it away. All right, so I got a, I got a number two. It's all related to Soul Savvy Cops again. He's the SB General, but this is the SB Nike Dunk collaboration with Gundam. As you all know, Gundam's an old time anime manga series that goes all the way back to 1979. We had what we called Manxgiving, bro. So I used my nickname and added Thanksgiving. It was around the time of uh, November. So even the members helping in this video, SB Carey helped me. Even Nicholas, every copula cop helped me. So I, I kid you not, I kid you not. Y'all know how hard it is copying SBs and just copying sneakers in general. I had an army of soul savvy people helping with this. A total of like 30 people, bro. A huge shout out to my boy, the Mongoose, or Goose he goes by. I love this shoe, man. Talk to me nice, bro. Damn, man put out the, the presidential call. I'm gonna need the National Guard. Everybody gotta put in an entry. These, these other boys can tell you, man, They everybody had my back on these. So it was incredible. That's that's why I love this community so much. We support each other here, man. Hey, big salute, big salute. Count Copula, please close out the round for us. This one I got, I mean, everybody knows this one. You know, this has six British khakis, man. This is, I love like wheat, man, and, and khaki. You know, I love, I love khaki, stuff like that, man. And the, the, this long hair suede, man, on this pair is, is really nice. It glows in the dark, right? Yeah, I'm a sucker for glow. Just from the difference between going from in outside to inside your car, man, they'll be glowing a little bit, you know? I mean, they killed it. They killed it with this pair. I love them. Talk to me nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let me recap the round. We have Carrie with the Nike SB Dunk Carpet Company, followed by Mank with the Nike SB Dunk High Gundam collab. And then Count Copula closing it out with the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott khaki colorway. All right, gentlemen, let's proceed to the next round. Oh, wait. What's that? That's right. That's the sound of the trivia round. New season new segment we're gonna give you an opportunity each one of you an opportunity to win a hundred dollar gift card there's no stealing of questions none of that stuff no doubling up on gift cards each one of you will get your own individual questions you have 25 seconds to answer and that'll be all i'm gonna kick it off with carrie since you're the one who goes first on the nike sb dunk low pro grateful dead sneaker there was a notable skull what is the name of that skull I'm a dunk guy, not a Grateful Dead guy. I have no idea. You're not even gonna guess. I have no idea. All right. Do you wanna, you give up, you officially skull. give up. The happy skull. Final answer? Final answer. I'm afraid the answer we were looking for was the steal your face skull. Mank, are you ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready. What popular kids TV franchise collaborated with Curry brand this year. Curry brand, man, that's can't be Jordan. Curry brand, man, you got me on that one. I don't really follow Curry like that. I'm gonna give you ten seconds. Hmm. It's a children's brand. Do I have a shot Five, on that? Five, four. Don't recall it, bro. Three. Yeah. Two. What was that? Shout on that one, bro. I don't got the answer for you. You, you got nothing. All right, you officially give up. Your time is up. The answer we were looking for was Sesame Street. Sesame Street collab. Yeah, I do not recall it. You guys don't watch Steph Curry ball out in the Cookie Monsters? I watch Steph Curry ball, bro, but... Well, at least you're learning something new today. So that's all, all we can be thankful for. Nicholas, you're up, man. What Air Jordan model is inspired by the Air Jordan 2? Seconds. Uh, Think about the question. What Air Jordan model is inspired by the Air Jordan 2 design? 12 seconds. Oh man, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's right there for you, my man. 
five, four, two, three, <laughs> two. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, the answer we were looking for was the Air Jordan 32. Mm. Does that make sense to you now? Yeah. The new Air Jordans, I don't follow, man. I got the third. Come 35. on, guys. Come on. I'm giving you money here. I want you guys to win. Ain't that bad, bro. It was good questions. Thing I love Okay. To. All right. Let's move on to the final round, shall we? Carrie, please take it away. Top shoe all time. Really, really easy call for me. Uh, this is the Nike SB Jordan 1 X Lance Mountain collab. Came out in 2016, consisted of a pair. So there was a white pair and a black pair. Both pair had one uh, bread Jordan 1 underneath and one Royal Jordan 1. This shoe just really encapsulates so many different things for me. So skateboarding in the, in the 80s. And believe it or not, 1988, 89, when the Jordan 3 was hot, these were in clearance bins. Us skateboarders gobbled these up. So I used to skate, my mom wouldn't buy the Jordan 1, but I skated AJKOs. And what skaters would do is we would make them our own. We'd paint them, I put shoe goo on mine. And that's what Lance Mountain did when he released this shoe. He painted it, and this is one of the first strip away shoes that came out. This will be my all time number one shoe for all of my days. Talk to me nice. I, I took the um, paint off. I got the white pair too. I actually got a pair of these on ice as well. White pair, I stripped the, sh the swoosh away, gave it a little color, but these are all black. I hear you. I hear you. Sometimes you got to use acetone and nail polish, man. Yeah. It's hard to scrape away the swoosh when you're skating. I'm not skating in these. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I hear you. All right, Mank, take it away, my man. So this this last one, my final sneaker. Uh, Again, it goes back on the Soul Savvy team and helping out. Realize, like, y'all starting to see a pattern here. Soul Savvy. Yo, hold on. Are you a smoke person for Soul Savvy? I feel like you are. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, I'm not, I'm not doing any advertising like that. You know what I'm saying? But this this goes back uh, several years. 2017, August. Uh, if you see it, seven, 700 Wave Runner, bro. So the story behind this is... Um, I had a chance to get these back in 2017, and this was at Kith in Miami. I came just shy of the door, but I couldn't get a pair, bro. So I've been on the hunt for these for more than five years. So fast forward all the way to August 2021, Yeezy Day. Uh, for most Soul Savvy members, everybody on Twitter, pretty bad day for a lot of people, including myself. Shout out to my boy Till here. Dude sent me a message on Soul Savvy. He was like, hey, bro, it must be your lucky day. I looked at the message. I had bags under my eyes, bro. I was, I was already done. I was like, ain't no way, bro. He was like, I caught them. I was like, get out of here, bro. So, bro, talk to me nice with these, bro. Talk to me nice. Yo, you got so many strikeouts. You got to go to batting practice, my man. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's sad out here for me, dog. Well, I'm glad you got a pair for yourself. Big respect. Nicholas, Count Copula, close out the episode for us, my man. Man, ended off strong, man. This sneaker right here, okay. the I'm sure my boy will be watching. I'll make sure he sees this. I remember it was on the Adidas app, but it was before confirmed. You know what I mean? I had my mom enter. I entered. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't getting these. So we were in the mall, man, in, in Foot Locker in, in King of Prussia, man, at the King of Prussia Mall. I just bought some Air Jordan 13s that were sitting there. And uh, I looked on my phone and I'm like, yo, I hit. And then she looked on her phone and she's like, I hit two and I ended up uh, selling one pair to my boy uh, and he still has them and, and this is this is my pair man so you know talk to me nice with this right here man. Back then probably one of the most coveted shoes ever like the oh, hype was, on those was I nuts. Was them, Everybody wanted them. Everybody. Let me recap the round. We have Carrie closing it out with the Air Jordan 1 Lance Mountains followed by Mank with the Adidas Yeezy 700 Wave Runners and then Count Copula closing out the entire episode with the 350 Yeezy Boost Zebras. Gentlemen, that concludes another episode of Top 3. I really appreciate each and every one of you participating. Shout out to you guys for being so savvy members as well. Other than that, that is Kerry. He is Mank. That is Nicholas. I am Tony, and we are out of here. Peace. <laughs>